Why, hello there, gang. It's your old pal, George Goin Upscale, down in the OC. I'm in Corona Del Mar, right between Los Angeles and San Diego. This is known as California's Riviera, AKA Billionaire's Row. And there's a mansion here that ups the ante. You see, it's for sale. Interested? You gotta be worth well over $50 million to even look at this place. So dare I say, what's with that really expensive house? It's expensive, it's expansive. It's the Portobello Estate, with all its ocean view bedrooms, pools, sculptures, even its own underground city, and private cove, rock not included. And we're getting a private tour without the financial background check. We're meeting Joe. He manages all the people it takes to run a place like this. Cleaners, gardeners, pool guys, bowling pin machine technicians, even TV crews. Yep, we're a handful. Do you like break a sweat like walking across the house? Yeah, it can be a hike sometimes. <laughs> the owners aren't here right now, correct? No. Is the owner private about who, who he is? The homeowners are out of the public eye. Okay, right. so they enjoy their anonymity. So am I. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Portobello is really an Italian term meaning beautiful door. Okay. Really? Yeah. Confidentially, Joe, what do you think the front of the house looks like? The home is called, called the Portobello. People think it's because it has sort of this mushroom shape to the roof. If you have to describe the style, what would you think? Airport terminal. The white zone is for loving and unloving only. I would think it looks like a wave. A wave? <laughs> I would love to go inside the house and see it, so I'll follow you, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, great. All right. Yep. Wow, going inside is really like going more outside. Your front door really isn't your front door. No, it's more like an entry gate. If you made it in this far, you're okay with us. The whole home is built around this outside space. Yeah, this rockscape is called the grotto area and it includes a pool, two hot tubs, and these upper pools that spill over the edge of the deck. They went out to the rocks out on the beach and pulled molds off of it. So these rocks actually mirror the ones out on the beach? Exactly. There's like a mouth there. That is the exit for the tube slide. The tube slide? You mean like a water slide slide? Yeah, like a water slide slide. Water slide, eh? It runs in a corkscrew pattern inside the rockscape. Whee! Now that was fandangular. Is that... Is that the bottom of that top pool? Yes, that is the acrylic dome. Cool. Up next, grab your checkbooks. We're going in. Hi, honey, I'm home. Can you guess how much this baby costs? Stay tuned and we'll reveal the price tag for this really expensive house. This eight bedroom, 10 and a half bath, Portobello Estate is 30,000 square feet. Okay, here's some perspective. Your average 2,400 square foot house fits in here. How many levels of the house are there? There are two levels. Where are the bedrooms? The primary living area is on the upper level. The upper level, which is really the street level, and the master suite, off limits. They're on double secret probation. That means for serious buyers only. What part of the house is this officially? This is called the pool house. So there's a kitchenette, and you could, you know, make refreshments or drinks, snacks. Or have someone make them for you. Yeah. Is this the living room? This is the living room. Wow. What kind of fireplace is this? Is this marble? That's granite. This is granite, and it's just, yeah. it's stacked? Yeah, so what they did, you know, they sculpted the shape in a CAD system, right, on a computer. Right. And then they took that shape and then they sliced it into lots of layers. Oh my God, so I mean, this is like, this is an expensive feature. There's an even bigger Morales sculpture in the center of the staircase. Want one? That'll be hundreds of thousands of dollars, please. Cities across the country have bought sculptures of his for their parks and monuments. This is the formal dining room. 
to the official dining room? Yeah, formal dining room right here. This is a very laid back feel to it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's an open floor plan. We haven't gone through a single door inside yet. Right. Oh, I see, there, what's this right here? Okay, okay, there's a screen there that pops up. No. Yeah. Make it pop up. The partitions act as more privacy, especially at catered affairs. This like rich person sneeze guard? No. Like, Let's say you're having a dinner party, you have your guests over here in the dining area, and you have a hired caterer that came for the evening. They can set up over there and prepare the food, and then you have a little more privacy here with the conversation. So from the kitchen, where do we go? Okay, this is the office. What's, what's the floor made out of? Leather. I was gonna say. Yeah. Finally, something I could do in my home. This is about $10 a square foot. It smells like a brand new car in here. Yeah. We went outside to check out that million dollar view. Wow. The beach is open to the public up to the high tide line. Somebody could come out here with a beach towel. Yeah, absolutely, and people do. All right, so if we walk back in this way, then we can, uh, then we can get downstairs? Yes. Because we haven't even seen like all the entertainment stuff, have we? No, you haven't even seen half the house. Haven't seen half the house? How is that possible? We're gonna drive into the house. Stay to the left, you wanna stay on the tan part. Inside the garage is an elevator for the car. We walk downstairs yes. and then we'll bring the car down. And then press that button. Now, you or I might have a furnace in the basement. This guy has a 16 car showroom and mechanics bay. Cool. And a short drive away, there's the main drag of a small town in his basement. Hi, honey, I'm home. With the car valeted, Joe and I stroll down Portobello Lane. This whole street scene is modeled after the homeowner's hometown, Charleston, West Virginia, where he grew up. This is a cafe. It's actually got a working kitchen in it, right? Yeah. You know, you can make uh, milkshakes. There's a vintage milkshake machine. This is the Rialto Theater. This is amazing. Is there really a theater in here? Yeah, there is a theater in here. <laughs> There's a theater. Building a theater like this is going to cost you at least half a million dollars. Hey, I'll take two. This fully functional movie theater seats 12 in luxurious reclining lounge chairs. I feel like Siskel and Ebert. And if you're not in the mood for a movie... Beach bowling lanes? Yeah, just uh, two lanes of bowling. Oh, only two lanes. Wow, but because of the mirror, it looks like a whole bunch. It's like, well, it looks like four. Yeah. Is this from a real bowling alley? Yeah, that's a real scoring console. <laughs> I mean, all the equipment is from a bowling alley. It's been refurbished and installed here in the house. Ho! Oh. Okay, so you want to make an offer? Well, if you've got the cash, you got to make an appointment with this guy. It's a good question who can afford this. I mean, it's starting to get out of reach for a lot of professional athletes and even movie stars. And it's really entrepreneurs, captains of industry that can afford this. So what's this going to ding you? Well, it's 30,000 square feet on three oceanfront lots. A nearby teardown on one lot just sold for 18 million. Location, location, location. It's eight bedrooms, a grotto with water slide, a fancy fireplace, and an elevator for your cars. Oh, and the main street of an entire small town. All for the low, low price of 75 million. Oh, yeah.